are alive. I hope. Are we actually live? We are awesome. Um, let me go ahead and put this out to the uh, Twitters, and I will spam this on Discord for a while. Um, now streaming Earthbound. That's part of I have my mic turned up all the way. Um. The sound cutting out of the game is because uh, I ha don't have that window in focus at the moment. So let me put that on the AID Discord and the Cosmo Mastery Discord. Uh, Simon, Bob, you haven't missed anything, we have just started. Okay, is, is my voice any better? actually hear me. Alright, since it is now 8 o'clock, I'm going to go ahead and start. My mic volume is turned off all the way, I can't get it any higher. Like, I have, I literally have this turned off all the way in OBS. I can turn the audio for the game down. So hopefully you can hear me better now. Hello there, PK Universe. Let's get rolling. And I'm going to go turn Rune Cam on for a moment. Alright, um, where did we pick off, where did we leave off last time? We are, uh, Jeff, who is, uh, what is our name for Pooh? And we just ate the magic cake, so we are going to uh, pick up the items from these boxes. I give and try. One second. Uh, one second, minor difficulties. down about half. Uh, yeah, I have no idea what's wrong with, uh, with the audio. Um, part of it's because this NES uh, is not in focus all the time. Because I'm running, 
uh, things on my window. So we have Pooh, and we are trying to obtain enlightenment. So first we must uh, undergo the trials of Moo. What is immortality? Is it every everlasting life? Mm -hmm. And I noticed that there has not been any art posted in the thread, so um, here's what we're going to do. If, uh, if you post art in the thread, at the end of the stream, uh, I will draw, I will choose a person at random, and they will get Steam keys for Vault Milestone 1 and 2. Is this my favorite guy in the game? Preet. Oh, Prince Jeff, I'm surprised you're not in training. It seems like that's all you do these days. Why don't you take some time to play with me? I'm so lonely without you. Please come in, look around the house as much as you want. Well, I am a prince, so I guess that means I get to barge into people's houses and uh, steal their stuff. There's a bottle of water inside. And as far as art goes, um, I completely accept MS Paint art. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. I think you broke your microphone. Hello? I have my microphone turned up uh, to max in OBS. Otherwise, I'm going to, I guess I'm going to try to lean as close to the microphone as possible. Let me try to switch USB ports. Please stand by. Okay, can anyone hear me now? I swear this worked when I tested it on Saturday. Can anyone hear me now? Okay, awesome. Uh, that USB port is cursed by a ghost. Uh, that's the explanation I'm going to give. Yeah, I have no idea what, what went wrong. Um, I also blame the fact that I completely disassembled my computer this uh, on Monday for installing a new graphics card. Okay, um, 
Welcome again to the joy of Earthbound. Let's take that audio down a little bit. And we are here as Prince Jeff, who is the name of Prince Pooh in our game. And we are attempting to obtain enlightenment through the Moo training. But right now we're going around Dalam, the magical floating land in the sky. And we are attempting to uh, talk to various people and find out more about the culture of this magical land. Of course we have time to play. I just roasted some garlic and ate it, so the room still stinks. I'm trying to figure out where you roasted your garlic, because I don't see an oven in the room. No problem here. I heard that Prince Jeff is deeply into moo training. I want to help him if I can. Prince Jeff, blush. You are such a hunk. So, Prince Jeff is certainly the ladies' man. We serve water, rice gruel, and those sorts of things. What would you like to do? I'm broke, so I can't buy anything. There's a bowl of rice gruel inside. I wish I could recover my PP just by drinking water. <laughs> Even though I've never seen him before, I heard that the prince can do that. I guess I need more training. By the way, just what is PP anyway? Jeff opened the chest. Whoa, there's a jar of deli sauce inside. You know that you do everything well, right? Do, do? Oops. Say, Prince Jeff, are you still popular with the girls? Yes. I heard you're living a more serious lifestyle these days. All right, we already talked to this person. As strange as this may sound, there are statues of rabbits blocking our way. So we're not going to get to this dungeon uh, today. That's for, for, I believe, Friday's event with Heaven Chai. This is Mu, the place of nothingness. People who train here must first clear everything from their mind. If you can make your mind blank and learn the true meaning of Moo, you'll pass through. Moo is Moo. You have nice eyes. Why, thank you. You must be Prince Jeff. Long ago, I completed Moo training. I want to show you a higher level of intelligence. However, I'm still realizing and learning this high level. I'll see you again. So long. All right, this is the uh, part where, spoilers, we get our body parts ripped off of us. Ah, Prince Jeff, I'm a messenger from your master. He sent me to tell you that you must stop your meditation immediately. Prince Jeff, you must come back with me instead of staying in a place such as this. Your master wishes it. Please rise, Prince. Your Highness, you must give up this trial now. Believe what I say. It is the truth. So we're going to ignore her, and we're going to sit here for a while. And there's the strange ghost thing that comes to visit us. Prince Jeff, I am the spirit of your ancient lineage. To complete your trial, I'm going to break your legs. 
you will lose the use of them. You accept this? Yes. Uh, Nest Geek One says it would be it would make a nice fan game to have a prequel where it stars the elderly man who took Moo training in his younger years. I would definitely also play that. So, Prince Jeff, you cannot walk as your legs are broken. Next, I will tear your arms off. I shall then take your arms and feed them to the crows. The taking of your arms. Do you accept this? Sure. Let's give away our arms. Ah, Prince Jeff. Without legs and arms, you can only lie there. Now I'll cut your ears off. You do not mind my taking your hearing away, do you? Do you accept this? Yeah, who needs hearing? So, Prince Jeff. No arms. No legs, no arms, and no sound. By floating words through the air, I must ask you. Do you care if I take your eyes? Do you want to live in eternal darkness? I shall steal your sight. Do you accept this? Well, um, I guess you can have my eyes. I don't particularly need these. Your mind is all you have left. In the end, I will take your mind. Although you probably don't want to allow that, do you? So, you can't answer, you can't even move. Are you sad, are you lonely? If you lose your mind, you will also lose any feelings of sadness. Do you accept this? I will take your mind, Prince Jeff. Know that I will possess it. Prince Jeff! You have now completed your training. The old master must be so pleased. Hurry now and return to the palace. Well, it's a good thing that that spirit gave us all our arms and our legs and our eyes and our ears and our brain back, because we kind of need that to complete the rest of this uh, GPP. So we're going back to the uh, going back to the palace. I need. Yep, I'm still broke. Hello, is that you, Poot? Why, yes, in fact, that is. Why are you disguising your voice like that? Why are you, who are you pretending to be? Oh, well, it's not a big deal. I suppose you need a sense of humor at a time like this. A little experience to gain to the next level. Jeff, 1,390. All right, let's save our game for now. Poo, you like to work hard just like your mother. I am proud. You have completed your Moo training. There is nothing more to teach you from the holy writings. Prince Jeff, I shall relay a message to you from eternity. The evil entity that controls all wickedness is preparing for the greatest struggle of all time. The only ones who can challenge the entity are three boys and one girl. One named Pooh is the leader of the four. One of the boys is you, Prince Jeff. Now that you have completed your training, search out Pooh at once. So, for the record, this uh, Jeff and Pooh exchanging names things is super confusing. For all beings on Earth herself, I pray for growth in the might of the four. I'm now 16. Shield Beta, Teleport Alpha, Teleport 
teleport beta. By the way, people that have uh, played previously, how well leveled are we in this game? My name is Jeff. I'm the one who will fight beside you. All right, so uh, Pooh or, or Ness and his companions just ate some hallucinogenic cake and they saw the land, uh, this land floating in the sky and then this guy in, uh, this guy just teleports to them on the beach. My name is Jeff. I'm the one who will fight beside you. I am the servant of Pooh. I will obey Pooh. Pooh, my life is in your hands. Jeff joined you. We are level 47, 38, 38, and 18. Now, I believe our previous uh, streamer, Karparama, I believe, got a bunch of cool swag at the local stores. So we're pretty much kitted out for the next uh, uh, while. While at the same time, we are kind of broke. Um, so let's see, now that we've got Poo in our party... I can no longer make magic cakes, but it doesn't matter because now I'm selling tiny tarts, which tastes even better than magic cakes. I only have this. All right, so we're not quite broke. We got six thousand dollars to our name. Uh, let's see. I actually, still have. Alright, uh, let's go visit the shop, see if there's anything we need to buy before we uh, go on. Um, and I think, yeah, it looks like we're fully kitted out. Um, let us call Escargo Express. And I think there's some stuff I need to uh, all right what what kind of stuff can we get for us um, take a secret herb uh, and I guess I'll bring a chicken with you. Uh, hello there, uh, Rec DTRH. Do you need anything else? So I'm going to take a secret herb and a chicken. Alright, we're going to wander around for a while until our delivery arrives. Um, I'm going to name the chicken, uh, Jeff. The chicken's name is Jeff. And this guy in the I Love New York shirt. If you're bored, go check out the, uh, Scarba Cultural Museum. It may be helpful to you. They have a hieroglyph from a pyramid. All right, a, a, couple, a few streams ago, uh, I believe was it Vid, who called it a din who called a museum a dinosaur house. So uh, that's what we're calling all the museums from now on. They're all dinosaur houses. Uh, 
go to Scarva, you need to cross the sea. Or you, but we can't quite go there yet. So we got a number of uh, quests we got to take care of. So let's go. Uh, let's go to the museum and get educated. Yes, even art museums. Um, actually, I need to save uh, the game here because I'm about to do the uh, the mummy glitch. chicken. Right now part of the Scarva Cultural Museum is being remodeled. Do you still want to enter? Yes. Three dollars per person. We're gonna study hard. Uh, Ness Geek says, I like summer. It's so chill. Um, yes, yeah, so, uh, that's w one of the reasons I really like uh, summers as well. It's just, it's, you, you're, you get off fr uh, from the Crash Skyrunner after all the antics in um, in Foresight, and then you're in this nice resort town where everyone's kind of just laid back and having fun. Ram Raisin the Third's casket. Ram Raisin the Fourth's casket. The chicken. Ram Raisin the Fifth's training pot. Man, there are a lot of potty jokes in this game. I saw a chubby kid about your age here. He looked like he was awfully wealthy. He was being extravagant. Toten Carmen's lunchbox. Toten Carmen's pencil box. How many pencils are you going to keep in there? Toten Carmen's casket. The chicken. room is being modeled, remodeled, so I can't show it to you. Oh, the samurai kid is here. Will he be giving me that gem? Yes. You're such a good student. I'm impressed by your passion for learning. Come in. Alright, so we bribed the, uh, the museum guy. I'm going to save the game here so we don't have to go through that conversation again. Because it's been a long time since I've done this uh, this little trick. All right, so in the next room you have to fight at least one of the bosses. However, if it is possible to reach the hieroglyph inscription without fighting the second one, the game doesn't know, uh, the game expects you to have already defeated both of them, so it doesn't despawn the last one at the end of the game when you're walking around. So it is possible to leave one enemy alive for the rest of the game, for the end of the game. Alright, so let's, let's just wail on him. Um, Breeze Omega, what do you have loaded? Right, let's spy on him, and we're going to do Freeze Beta. Shattered Man's Offense, Defense, Vulnerable to Paralysis. He growled and lunged forward, and... All right, that was pretty easy. So let's see if we can reach the inscription and get out of here before uh, before the second one catches up to us. Jeff read the hieroglyphs. To fight against the invaders, we built this pyramid fortress. However, our efforts are futile, were futile and we lost. Nonetheless, our pyramid was protected by the gods of Scaraba. The invaders will be reborn every millennium and will attack again. 
Even now the invaders hide beyond space and time and build their evil strongholds. A place out of time is beyond dark and even further beyond the lost underworld. The deep darkness is shrouded, it is without light. Only one with the hawk eye can pierce the dark. The Sphinx now watches everything, waiting for the coming of a brave, a truly brave hero. Dot, four, three, two, five. Dance in front of the Sphinx. Whew, let's go to Scaraba. The pyramid is the key. Wait a second. Here's a picture of the hieroglyphs just for you. It's a reward for starting so hard. Faye got the hieroglyph copy. Use it in your human civilization class. Ha ha ha. Alright, so we escaped the room. Um, so hopefully whoever's doing the finale will remember to, uh, to check out the uh, mummy room at the end of the game, one after Gygus is defeated. Hello? This, is this Mr. Fork of the Scarable Cultural Dinosaur House? It doesn't sound like you. Well, I'll quick, quickly tell my story, because I'm busy, busy, busy. I found something so extraordinary that mere words wouldn't do it justice. What do you mean, who am I? Don't you recognize my voice? It's me, Mr. Uh, Mr. Spoon from the Foreside Museum of Natural History, which is actually a dinosaur house. It's actually it's a legitimate dinosaur house. Look, Mr. Fork, I'm not exaggerating this find. I'm telling you, it's fantastic. It's outrageous. Click beep. All right, we're going to save the game. Uh, we got some cash. And we're going to continue on. All right, how are we doing on uh, healing items? We've got plenty of stuff for Pooh. Attend the civilization class. Now, uh, civilization classes, they teach you how to play Civ. Alright. Before we go to Foreside, the chicken. Um, let's see, just grab a couple of secret herbs, we might need these because there are a lot of uh, enemies that give you nasty status effects. Where can I sign up for all these cool civilization classes? All right, we got a photo, man. Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius, if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera, ready, say, fuzzy pickles. Wow, what a great photograph. It will always bring back the fondest of memories. chicken. Alright, let's go back to Foreside. And hopefully not crash into a, uh, a random enemy. Alright, let's go to the dinosaur house. That's the hospital.
The dinosaur museum doesn't really ha have any real dinosaurs. They're all replicas. I'm sure everyone knows that. Oh, wait, so this isn't a legitimate dinosaur house. Uh, $5 entrance fee to a museum is actually cheap these days. Although it isn't so bad. I wonder how many animals go extinct before human beings discover them. I want to see a live dinosaur sometime in my life. Well, whoever's going to do the Lost Underworld is going to get that. It's a replica house. Huge! Not you, I'm talking about the dinosaur bones. Here's another photo, man. Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. Ready? Say... Fuzzy pickles. Let me adjust my camera. Oops, wrong way. It will always bring back the fondest of memories. Yeah, Ness Geek once uh, quoted the uh, the Moonside guy's line, and that's one of my favorite lines in the game. You want to know something extraordinary? Hmm. You know there's a new singer named Venus at the Tupelo Theater. Oh, wait. we forget, uh, I forgot that this was the part with Venus in it. Could you bring me her autograph on an eraser? Then I'll show you something extraordinary. Oh, if you can get her autograph on anything, don't worry about the eraser. I don't care if the autograph is written on toilet paper. All right, let's see if we can go get Venus's autograph. Well, we should probably save the game uh, now that we're in Foresight. And probably just take a nap to recover our uh, PP. You gotta wonder who's gonna, uh, which bed the chicken is gonna sleep in. Good morning. This is a unique service exclusive to our hotel only. I'm here to read you today's headline. The Foresight Post says, Yoikes, I made a mistake and, bought, and brought, bought, brought a newspaper called Foresight Star. Let me read this anyway. Lucky of the Runaway Five found to have been in, in State House of Representatives. That's got to be a lie. Well, there you go, guys. Uh, fake news in 1990X. All right, let's go uh, continue on. And let's go see Venus's concert. And we're going to bring a chicken into the theater, so hopefully they'll be okay with that. Alright, who's got the ticket? Okay, don't forget, life is money. I have lived that life. You can buy anything but love, friendship, and EXP points. Dot, dot, dot. Quiet. 
I'm gonna be rude and we're gonna talk to these guys, but it looks like they just say, uh, they just all say the same thing. Ah, oh, you're a friend of the Renault 85. Did you come to see Miss Venus? Come inside quickly. Don't let the other fans see you enter. Oh, you want an autograph? Okay, I'll give you an autograph on this banana peel. Here you go. I got the signed banana. Oh, and this is a bonus. Smack. Alright, so I, when I first played this game, I thought she was like smacking Ness instead of kissing him. So I didn't um, com understand what was going on there until someone explained it to me many years later. Uh, hello there, Bubbly Oasis. Alright, we're about to go into a concert, so I need to grab something real quick. Let's see. Ah, here it is. Let's turn the rune cam back on. And let's get the mood lighting set. All right, the mood lighting is set for the concert. Baby, 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 don't make me hurt so bad. These guys are all stone cold gone for you. Ow, you cute, sexy thing, you. Baby, sing to me, sing to me only, baby Venus. Just sing and I can die a happy man, baby. I want to hold you tight. Venus, sob, sob. All right, so, um... I think it's time for the for these. Uh, Kevin Chai says, uh, Venus is the best girl. Um, I would say Venus is the best idol in Earthbound, but Earthbound was before idols were a thing. Alright, 
concert is over. Let me turn off the mood lighting. And we can continue on with the game. Man, this is going to be a pretty short GPP if, uh, if all that's left is Magnetil. Oh, hi. Okay, hang on. Uh, it's the guy here. Hi. All right then, uh, our next stop is going to be back to the museum and into the sewers where we're going to go after the carrot key so that we can get to the pink cloud sanctuary. Before we go, let's order a pizza. And I'm pretty sure we can't order the pizza inside this, uh, we can't get the pizza delivered inside the sewer. So I'm going to wander around uh, Spore Side for a bit. Um, let me actually check something. Let's see. Okay, your IQ is nowhere near enough. I was thinking of going in, grabbing the bazooka, and sleeping a few times. Um. And let me check Jeff. Okay, you have flash beta. Okay, so we do have flash beta. Uh, Zesu Ben, hello, welcome back. Alright, I don't need not, uh, any of that. Alright, rip plush bear. Or am I supposed to keep a plush bear throughout my GPP? So I started with one. I'm not sure that's been a thing that... Okay, so as soon as we get the pizza delivered, we're going to go find ourselves a bear. You're very young, but you brought something pre very precious back to the people in this town. Thank you. Okay, any moment now the pizza got our pizza's gonna show up. Although I would actually kill for three minute pizza delivery. 
it seems pretty amazing that you can pretty much be anywhere in in uh, in the world and get pizza delivered to you in three minutes. Wait, who freed the pizza man? Uh, Zosu Ben, I have no idea what you're talking about. Get pizza quickly if you order mock pizza, save your game, and reset the game. But it's more fun waiting for them. And in the meantime, I can give uh, Pooh some EXP. Alright, why was that guy stuck in a tree? No one told him what happened to Raymond. I have no idea who Raymond is. Is that what we named him, uh, the mock pizza guy? Pizza guy got trapped in Moonside. Can you actually get pizza delivered to Moonside? I've never tried that before. Hick, I'm fine. I'm not drinking the... I hate these hiccups. That popping noise is my Concole fleets coming back. So I'll have to attend to that after this. Hello, mock pizza delivery. Here's your pizza pie, sir. That'll be $238! You have the money, don't you? Alright, so I guess that's the cost. You get your pizza delivered in like three minutes, but it costs like two hundred dollars. Two hundred and thirty-eight dollars for a pizza. Wow. Mock Pizza is the original Uber Eats, yes. Let's talk to the hint man. Now wait a minute, youngster. I could give you a great hint for just $75. You, an autograph with a banana, I mean a banana with an autograph. You get better get this to Mr. Spoon right now. That's it for today. Alright, before we go in, uh, someone said that I have to get a plush bear, so I'm going to go to the department store and pick that up. Uh, lag. Which is somewhere. Wait, do I have the map? Let's 
helpful. See, I haven't played Earthbound in like two years, so I don't remember where everything is in this game. Uh, where's the department store? Department store. Alright, let's see if we can find a new plush bear for our uh, our team. Yeah, but I want to go visit the sketchy arms merchant first. take a few bottle rockets just in case but I don't think we're gonna need them uh, for the reason that we are going to attempt to cheese the boss so I get that uh, Pooh and Jeff have names switched but uh what are Faye and Josh references to? Was that anybody's name suggestions here in the chat? I drew Jeff in Moo training. No, we're not going to get a yo-yo. Alright, we're just going to get a normal plush bear, because I don't think they have the uh, super fancy one here. Nope, that's the uh, up, up escalator. Josh was the one I put in. Uh, okay, cool. Um, was that a reference to something, Bubbly Oasis? It is now time to go uh, back to the dinosaur house, and we are going, oh, we have to pay again. It's the name of my high school friend who's totally smart, but like Jeff. Okay, that's, that's an entirely awesome uh, uh, reason to name him after that. Okay, the sewers. You want to know something extraordinary? Okay, we've already heard this speech. And someone's got the uh, sign banana peel. Yep, there's no doubt about it. Now for my promise, I'll tell you something extraordinary. There, I found a huge monster rat. I'm not trying to pull your leg. I'll let you go there and check it out for yourself. Uh, 
You engage the deadly mouse in its cohort. Now we're just gonna wail on these guys. Um, well, thank you, thank you guys with the teddy bear there. Can't get the green swirl here. You encounter the filthy attack roach. Alright, I think based on these battles so far, I think we're decently well leveled. Uh, did someone do a 1 in 128 challenge by any chance in the previous GPPs? There's a croissant inside. Who takes it? I'm not sure how uh, how keen I am on eating the a croissant that we found in a trash can in the bottom of the sewers. Doesn't seem very uh, sanitary to me. into the next room and go down here I think this is a pretty short dungeon if I remember right the boss is just around the corner it was in a plastic bag so it's fine Encounter the stinky ghost and the deadly mouse. I think the stinky ghost. We're just gonna nuke this guy with fire. All right, rip teddy bear. The croissant is totally fine. Now, wouldn't it be funny if um? Like, items you found in non-hygienic places uh, poisoned you on occasion. Because I know we always make fun of uh, Ness eating, at, eating burgers out of the trash can. double back for those items. Alright, let's heal up real quick. So we don't uh, die of poisoning. Ow. I think, yeah, we just barely beat the, uh, the death claw. So offense up. in the trash can. 
Oh, that was an enemy. And let us uh, life up data ourselves. Uh, Bubbly Oasis asks, "Hey Rune, which one is your favorite sanctuary? Your sanctuary spot? I love um, Lumine Hall because it's got the uh, part where you see Ness's thoughts on the wall. I think that was the coolest one in the uh, the coolest one in the game." How about you guys, chat? Uh, which ones are your favorite sanctuary spots? Oh, there's a large pizza. Um, all right, let's have a pizza party in the. Uh, let's have a pizza party in the sewers. Uh, Nest Geek One says his is Pink Cloud. A uh, Pink Cloud is really cool. Um, that will be seen on uh, next week's stream when we do uh, when Heaven Chai takes us to Dalam and through to Scarba. And that's the Magic Butterfly Room, so I'm gonna. Take this chance to. Is everyone healed up to max? Yeah, we'll just grab the PP off of this. Um, Ilenius, hello there. Uh, Vid Strickland uh, posted the link to the uh, fan art uh, submission. And for this uh, GPP, since I didn't see anything that was posted when I started this stream, I am going to give away a copy of uh, Fault Milestone 1 and 2 on Steam to a random submitter of the, uh, of the, to the fan art. And it can be anything from a five second sketch in MS Paint to uh, something worthy of uh, Leonardo da Vinci. So, it doesn't matter if you are not talented at art. Um, if you throw in any kind of art in the chat or in the uh, fan art thread, you can have um, you can potentially win Steam keys of Fault Milestone One and Two, which is probably one of my favorite uh, things ever. Um, it is a fantastic visual novel with um, amazing world building, and I guarantee that you will like it. Ow, these guys are hitting hard. Might be about time for another pizza party. Um, for the sake of giving everyone enough time, uh, let's just say I will make the decision uh, tomorrow morning when I wake up or something like that. So you have until tomorrow morning to get your submissions in. I think it's time for another pizza party.
So I got a, uh, I survived by the, the, by the skin of my teeth there. So we gotta patch ourselves up before we go into the next battle. Jeff is now level 27, that's awesome. I got Magnet Omega. Alright. Alright, so who wants to be the... So we'll give Josh the uh, croissant that we found in the trash can. And recovered 50 uh, some HP, and we didn't get sick in the meantime. Let's go... Why don't we have some rice gruel? Which didn't recover much of anything. Kinsai fire. And we have three things. It's all right. We got a uh, we got life noodles in. Really? Um. Okay, I'm homesick apparently. Oh hey, free pizza, and somehow my dead companion. Uh, wait. My not dead companion. The secret herb uh, revive people. Yes, it does. And guess what? It's time for another pizza party. There's the boss, but first we got to go into that little uh, room because there's a very important item in there. Uh, how about no? Oh, what the heck? These guys aren't too bad. Pizza sounds really good right now, Lovely Oasis says. Uh, I agree, let's all order pizzas. And I would actually do that if uh, I didn't have dinner before this. Alright, one of the most important items in the game, the broken bazooka. This uh, effectively makes uh, Jeff an unstoppable killing machine. See if I can cheese these enemies out of the way. Nope. Uh, Vid had Wendy's. too late for that. We're not at the point in the game. Uh, Pooh is still a little too under leveled for us, so we'll, this will make the boss interesting. And normally when I do, uh, when I do this level, we got life noodles, I think, or secret herb. Alright, 
let's uh, grab some magic charts. Starman.net needs to do an in-depth study of the amount of pizza consumed by its user base. We've probably eaten a lot of pizza. I wonder how uh, uh, Nesky one says. I wonder how peanut cheese bars taste, as well as that soup that you can buy in summers. Um, I think the kraken soup is probably pretty good. So we're going to see if we can cheese this boss. Um, if you guys check in the uh, Summer Bound 15 archives for Summers, there's a recipe for uh, the pasta of Summers that somebody posted, and I tried it, and it was fantastic. Uh, it's at the bottom of the Starman.net forums in the archives. You finally got here. This is the fifth your sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me, if you dare. Plague Red of Doom attack. Alright, so for those who don't know, the Plague Red of Doom is one of the few bosses that is vulnerable to flash. Meaning that you can insta-kill it. And do we have anything useful to use? Nope, so we will just uh, lay down some freeze. Uh, Jeff doesn't have any of his... We're gonna put up a shield. Alright, so he's paralyzed now. Um, we're going to keep flashing him. And let's get who unpoisoned. Alright, now we've confused him, as well as paralyzing him. So I'm going to try and kill this thing with uh, Flash. Throw up another level of shield. Alright, so he is crying, he is confused, and he is paralyzed. Why don't we... More PP. And we'll pop a magic chart. Nope, didn't work that time. Um, a few times ago when I played Earthbound, I got a one-shot kill with uh, PSI Flash. So we're going to see if we can actually do this before we run out of PP. And we're just... 
just gonna keep feeding Ness magic tarts. Alright, so can so it looks like uh, Plague Red of Doom being numb and means he can't attack me, so this means I'm essentially invincible at this point, I suppose. So we're just going to keep flashing until we run out of PP. Got it. All right, so that is the uh, cheese way of killing the Plague Rat of Doom. Uh, he's vulnerable to PSI Flash, so you can essentially uh, lock him down with paralysis and then insta-kill him with uh, PSI Flash. I got uh, PK Love Gamma. And we're also going so here we are at uh, Magnet Hill And we're going to grab this carrot key, and we're essentially at the end of the GPP. More like Magneto Hill, am I right, Novella Mutants? Alright, run away, run away, run away, run away. Before we, uh, before we exit, man, there are like five million enemies here and the game is lagging like crazy right now. It is slowing down to a crawl. Do you ever think to yourself, yes, spear me as the enemy runs away in Earthbound? Um, all the time, especially after clearing uh, clearing dungeons with uh, like enemies that you that were pretty powerful. Yeah, usually um, in Pink Cloud, that's the one I do a ton of grinding in because at this point, um, there are a ton of enemies that you can just insta kill. And the chicken. So we got the uh, melody and the carrot key. And we got another photo van. Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius if I do to say my so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready, say, fuzzy pickles. 
Wow, what a great photograph. It will always bring back the fondest of memories. Alright, um... Why don't we take a quick trip back to Summers? And we are here to see if we can, um, I think you can get another plush bear here, right? Yeah, the super plush bear. We'll let Pooh hold on to it. This is essentially the end of the GPP. All we have to do is to go back to Dalam. And wait. I keep seeing Pooh and uh, thinking that is uh, not Ness, but um, I keep seeing Pooh as the, the name and thinking that's uh, the actual Pooh. I believe there's another photo man here too. What will we name the bear? Um, how about uh, Grizzly? Say Fuzzy Pickles? Amelia too. All right, actually, let's change it up, and this teddy bear will be um, Amelia Jr. So the bear's name is Amelia Jr. All right, we're going to save real quick. Uh... But before we end, I want to go check the fan art and see if anyone submitted anything. Good night, sleep tight. And I'm going to do some uh, hack shenanigans. And let's end the game. So let's go see the uh, the forum thread and see if anyone's got uh, posted anything. And it doesn't look like anyone has posted anything in the forum thread. So remember, if you post in the forum thread uh, by tomorrow morning, I will draw a random name and you may win um, Steam keys for Fault Milestone 1 and Fault Milestone 2. So... Um, that is the end of my stream. Please tune in on Friday for Heaven Chai, who will be presenting, um, let me pull up the exact, uh, the exact uh, checkpoints. So Heaven Chai will take us to Pink Cloud uh, through Scaraba and uh, to the end of the pyramid. So tune in on Friday back at the normal time of 9 p.m. for Heaven Chai. And I will catch you all around. Um, it was a great time, and sorry for the technical difficulties earlier this evening. And let me pull this up. And I will see you all...
uh, later at some point.